Tristan, go, going back to last week, obviously you guys fell uh, to Southern Miss. What's it like as a defensive lineman going into a game, uh, knowing that you're going to face a, a unique attack like Southern Miss brought to the table with running backs and receivers playing the quarterback position? Uh, it was just a new wrinkle that they put in their offense. I mean, we – uh, all last week we had to practice for two different offenses. We played uh, practice for obviously their normal offense with a quarterback, and then we practiced a wildcat offense. And it was kind of tricky, but I mean we got the hang of it. But I mean there was new wrinkles that they put in uh, when it came to game day. Going back, and you know, you talked about some of the wrinkles, and you've been in this program for three, four, five years now. Uh, have obviously played a lot of football in your career as a defensive lineman. When you get into a situation like that and you see some of the wrinkles that they do put in, as an older guy, how do you kind of settle the guys down on the defensive side and just remind them, hey, just do your job and we'll be all right? Uh, For me being a fifth-year guy, I mean, I've seen a lot of different situations, been in a lot of different situations, and, I mean, you just have to – be the calm during the storm, basically like a hurricane. Outside of the eye, well, the eye is the calm part. So I'm trying to be the the eye of the hurricane for the younger guys, and basically be be a leader and mentor for them. You look you look at how this year's gone. Obviously, you guys three and eight. Not the year that um, I guess really not a year that you've been a part of during your entire time here. Uh, how, how difficult has that been for you and some of the older guys on the defense? And as you look ahead to the offseason, what, what are some things that uh, you guys will be focused on trying to fix in the offseason? Uh, creating a better leadership role for the young guys and uh, holding, the, holding the whole team to a certain standard uh, because I feel like as a team, that's where we let some of some things slip that shouldn't have slipped and swept some things under the rug that shouldn't have been swept under the rug. And some of the older guys could do a better job of handling stuff and man- managing stuff. So, I mean, I feel like during the offseason, we got to work on that. And, and coaches can do a better job too. But, I mean, it's all, it, it, fall back, it falls back on all of us, honestly. But there's, honestly, there's no, like, pointing fingers or anything, we're all sticking together, so.